Hey guys, we're back at CES and I'm about to pick up my badge because I need an ego boost right now. Yes, the suckers gave me media again. Now where's MKBHD? So before the intro plays, I think this is gonna be another voiceover vlog because CES is for professional people and I don't think professional people vlog at these events. Professionals. Unprofessional. But before I stop talking to the camera, I just really hope that there's going to be some sexy cat girl robots at CES this year. All right, professional now. On day one, we media elitists got treated to an exclusive expo floor just for us. So for once, I have to act mature. Thank you. I'm already in it. In this expo, they're showing off some of the latest and innovative tech trends. I feel so validated to be around tech everyone will be using in the future. Like this anonymous sexting app. What could go wrong? Nice of them to give out something just in case you decide to meet up and it isn't going well. Also related, I think I found the first startup I'm gonna invest in. Oh. No more, no, no more display with the... Oh. But if you feel different, Bitcoin is finally making a difference, so you can no longer make fun of crypto bros. Speaking of the blockchain, there was only one NFT booth here, compared to the many last year. I wonder why. There was also a whole booth just for one cryptocurrency. And just like the cryptocurrency, it looks abandoned with no effort put in. Here's some advice. No one will approach your booth if it looks like these. Instead, everyone will be flocking over to the hit Netflix show booth. Never mind, they realized they chose a bad company name. Like this one. I was gonna ignore this easy joke, but I'm pretty sure he actually got a job at this company. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's in charge of this entire expo floor. Good thing someone snuck in a bomb! Quickly! And some of this tech is far from market ready. So you can say zoom in, zoom out, take a picture. Take a picture? I got it. Oh, uh, it went to a menu. Go back menu, go back. Go back. Yes, you can just say go back. Uh, go back. Home. Home. home? Home. Yes, it's home. Home. Yeah. It's still stuck on the menu. Take a photo. No, it doesn't. Photo? At the moment, it doesn't take any photo. Oh, oh. Yeah, let's blame the tech for my skills. It's one, two, three, five. Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> At least I can control my tech destruction urges. Whoa. This robot dog is cool, but why did they have to make it appeal to a certain adult demographic? Ugh. Whoa, a world famous chef is making us free food. Is it supposed to taste like tinfoil? MKBHD? <laughs> nope. Why does everything need to be smart? Do we really need a smart shower? Never mind, I'm sold! Canon's bringing their A-game this year with some mid-cameras and everyone's favorite piece of tech. At least their booth wasn't freaked out by how much I love free stuff. Oh, thank you, I love the sloth. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think these translation AirPods are working correctly. In fact, I can't understand anything at this booth. I'm starting to think this entire expo is a joke. So let's dispel that thought by looking at one of the most heavily promoted tech categories here. Metaverse tech. Oh! My opinion has shifted already. As if the education system isn't terrible enough. Even in metaverse school you need to wear protection. Please, is there something, anything, that can restore my faith in the metaverse? I'm talking to you, here, about the metaverse, what's oh. up? Oh, thank God. So, for example, this could be an Excel, a PowerPoint to build a space for your team, for your company. Um, and you see all the different browsers in here in the space mode. Um, Connection broke again. <laughs> I know the Wi Fi is not great. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's move on to another heavily promoted tech category here AI. Something that definitely has more potential, but sometimes it seems unnecessary. 
I can spot a failing relationship a mile away by myself. But in all, I think AI will be the future- Ah! Never mind! Transportation tech is what it's all about. Which one of these will be the biggest chick magnet? Hmm... Can I go through? Sorry. Yes, you can. I think I got my answer. My ride's cooler. Yes, sir. Electric roller skates! Or it could be whatever the hell this thing is. Too dangerous for news reporters? Definitely the electric roller skates! I gotta try them out now! Oh god, they didn't have any battery packs, so right now these are just regular skates and I'm literally just skating around CES right now. I still love it though. Oh, hazards. Oh, I wish I could do the entire CES like this. Well, maybe not exactly like this, but okay. I'm trying out two things at once. <laughs> Try it. Uh, yep, everyone's packing up. Excuse me. All right, I gotta return these before I get sued. And that's it for CES Day 1. Pretty good. I'll see you at CES Day 2. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm not supposed to be vlogging! Day 2 was press conference day. If you want to see how tech companies are changing the world, click the I in the top right corner or the link in the description. Now let's jump ahead to the public expo days, aka 4 days in hell. After entering the gate to the underworld, the first thing that really caught my eye was this jaw-dropping LG booth. The second thing was this Kodak booth. They're still alive and making cheap electronics? Also, this might be the fastest I got into trouble on an expo floor because I noticed their TV remotes looked exactly like the LG ones. So I took one to take off the battery cover to see if they just reskinned an LG one, and a Kodak employee yelled at me and took it out of my hand. So I tried moving on to film their cheap speakers, but... What? No photos. No photos? Okay. Guess I'm banned from giving them free promotion. Second bankruptcy incoming. But I'm mature. I can handle discipline. Let's check out the company they got their TV remote design from. First we have to recite this vow and give up all our worldly possessions. Then we can bow down to the funny color fridge. To be honest, it's starting to grow on me. But it could just be the brainwashing talking. <laughs> I know who's getting sacrificed first! What dark magic is going on in that fridge? Finally! A product fit for the shoes I've worn since high school! Before you sneakerheads complain, the shoes on display aren't far off from mine. And a TV that can be rolled up? They aren't kidding around with the witchcraft. How must I obtain it? So how much is that TV? $100,000. <laughs> Yeah, I'll bite. And look who else decided to join! This cult is better than VidCon! They also have the thumbnail shot! Nothing will ever convince me to leave! Okay, I need to join a different cult. Perfect! But first, let's take a look at some other options along the way to see if I would be a good fit for them instead. What do you think these are? Vote by mail ballots? <laughs> nope. I know all about the real thing. I can probably work with this knockoff. Maybe not. Let's try another one. Uh, first Kodak and now this? I thought CES was about being hands-on with tech. The most dangerous cult! Once you enter, they brainwash you so hard, you won't be able to stop consuming their garbage products! How do you think they stayed alive for this long from selling GARBAGE?! On the opposite side, let's take a look at a cult no one wants to join. I mean, just look at their leader. I thought roller coasters were supposed to give you a break from driving. Many people don't play VR games because of the cost and how cumbersome it is to set up. So why not make it 20 times worse? Ah, this one seems the most promising. If I was six years old... 
Pretty sure I got kicked out of this one already. Ooh, some fellow cultists blindly following their leader. Nice to see. So this is the one that keeps on calling me to join. No thanks. Kids, make sure you don't call the wrong CPS. Whoa, another company that I thought was dead. And they let you film their cheap speakers. This one's a strong contender to join. Notice how everyone's ignoring the ones that require physical abilities. As they should. Always run away and never look back. Ugh. I was very close to joining the M. Night Shyamalan cult, but the line to demo the new VR headset was too long, so I had to settle for a worse experience that did not impress. Next! This cult just seems depressing. Why do so many people want to join? Their leader kinda scares me. Please don't hurt me. This one seems too dangerous, judging by the corpses. This is why I don't film anything above 1080p. I wonder why TV shouldn't be fully wireless. Ugh. What's the best way to show off your top-of-the-line gaming PCs? I'm losing focus! Gotta find a new cult! Oh look! Here's the one I was looking for! But too many people want to join. Hmm... Excuse me, is there a line for media? Yeah, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ego always wins! Or not. This cult sucks. Half of it is dedicated to pretending to care about the environment. Ah uh, yes! This is what camping is all about! Why does the speaker need it? They have a decent whip, but I wouldn't want to be put on top of that pedestal. Great job one-upping LG with a fridge you have to manually swap out the colors on! <laughs> I miss LG! Oh no! The ritual is about to start! Alright, come on in, come on in, come on in! And my ears are bleeding! Just like everyone else here, I will not be joining this cult! <laughs> Especially ones that stuff dead pets and promotes exercise! Gross! You know what? Let's test to see if they truly care about their cult members! Excuse me, yeah. I like Samsung phones, but I have a problem with mine, it won't charge. Do you know the reason why? <laughs> what? Mm. What's wrong with it? I don't know how you have uh, one of those. You just must not have turned, turned it in. What do you mean? Was there a problem with it? Yeah. Okay. Truly abhorrent. We will not be joining. I don't need to be part of a cult. I can be self-sufficient. And I don't have to follow any dumb rules they decide to set. Ah! I'm being followed! This one is better than the first. But still! I need protection from being stalked! After wandering the wastelands for several hours, something made me realize that there was one more cult out there. Another brand I thought was dead? It led me to the Sony Ponies. No! Actually, maybe it isn't so bad being cultless. Aww, they have a cool whip I can't sit in. F you, Sony! I joined the Microsoft cult. It's great being cut off from society. Sure are a lot of rules here. We get to test these new devices for the corporation. In your face, Sony! Let's see how fast garbage can spin! Yeah. What? Oh, oh, oh. That's just razor quality! <laughs> Our background screen also crashed, and I didn't even spin it. Let's take a quick tour of this $3,000 foldable tablet with one hand! Don't worry, I was practicing earlier. So yeah, I decided to escape that cult, because on my walk through the wastelands, I realized I was already part of a cult. Let's move on to another part of the convention, and be done with the cult jokes. Ah! Can't be seen by them! Act natural! Act natural! <laughs> down a hallway, there are some ladies giving out books and air tags if you let them scan your badge. I'm keeping both the air tag and book, but I guess a lot of people didn't want the book because they were piling them at the start of the hallway. Don't worry, 
I let the ladies know, and they said it was good timing because they were starting to run out of books. This is my favorite part of the day. <laughs> oh, I need some help. No. Let's move on to another part of the convention. I never knew how scary health can be. Brace yourself for a jump scare. Ah! But that's not all. Ugh. But the scariest of all. Ah! Risk of demonetization everywhere! But it looks like there are some that don't care and have no shame in demoing them. Maybe I should try letting loose too. Is there a demo here? Uh, well, you can't really demo it. Nah. Back to censoring. Whoa! This device sounds life-saving! Maybe it'll come in use during an apocalypse. And this is literally just Ring Fit Adventure, but less accessible and seems too hard for some. But not for me! We can also add less responsive to the list, too. I also decided to give up early because I remembered I have a whole convention to kill my legs instead. Wise. On our last health stop, there was a booth giving out free pills. Kids, please don't take the free booth pills. One thing I did want to take here was a keychain that's a reflection of your health. We had to wait in line to take a quiz, but I felt like that was too much effort and I wanted a specific one, so I just waited until someone got the one I wanted and scanned their QR code. That's me! I probably would have gotten the same result anyway. Just like many of the people here. In the Smart City section, we got to see a lot of 1984 Big Brother tech. Even the cows aren't safe from social credit. I agree with this snitching device, cause you all know my opinions about smoking. Big ego for a company that makes tape. I think that's a contradiction. Oh no, they're on to me! Just act natural, and don't trust any of them. Can you guess what this section is all about? Yep, one of the most prevalent texts showcased here, but these don't excite me. Especially these. AI excites me more when it's actually in a body. Let's take a look. I'm the moderator. I'm asking the questions. Gross! Reddit mod! Bad example! I meant these bodies. This might be my favorite part of CES. Not just because I've adopted one of my own, but because it's where the requested cat girls are. Mmm. What's this one for? Ah, I see. How do I pre-order? You would make that face too if your arms got mangled like that. Just suck it up and get back to work, with the help of your human slave. I don't know which one I would be afraid of more if they took over. Maybe the one advertising that it can get angry and react physically. Or maybe it's the one they're torture testing. Really shows how inferior we are. But if you're old-fashioned, there's a device that improves human slave work. At least I know I'm smarter than this pool cleaning one. Oh. My favorite one has to be this little cleaning guy. Reminds me of the one from Wally, -E, because they both have an unnecessary amount of emotions. From oo-ooing to straight up murder, with how many times he was bullied, I don't blame him. At least most of them have kill switches. Let's take a look at what happens when there isn't a kill switch. See the rest of this clip on Live Leak. Let's play a game. Who would be killed first when they take over? This influencer? Or this d Wrong. It was this lady. See the rest of the clip on Live Leak. You'll live longer if you're a cat person. Do you want it skinned or unskinned? You know what this reminds me of? That robot cat from that mid-Pixar movie that came out not too long ago. What was it called again? Oh yeah! It's also the name of this solar-powered electric car. Only time will tell if it will be as mid as the movie. There's actually a small sample of weird cars here. But we should quickly move on because... <gasps> That's racist! But creative. Nevertheless, thanks to the Tesla Hyperloop, we have moved to a different part of CES, which is my second favorite part. The car part. I watch Doug DeMiro every now and then, so I would call myself a car guy. 
There's a booth for all my haters! At least I'm not the YouTuber with the biggest ego here. A lot of companies are showing off cool cars they didn't make. No one has any idea what they actually make, because we all just want to sit in the cool cars they didn't make. This company must have spent extra to make this extra large sign. Good idea, because you would want as many eyes on it as possible. When I think Amazon, I think Mizerati. Hey look, it's Mid-Sadies! Can't wordplay here, but mid all around. They really shouldn't have made some of these demo cars drivable. Oops. Maybe I should just play boneless Mario Kart. They really shouldn't have let me up here. <laughs> I didn't have time to cause terror in this one, but I did get to experience what it's like working in a cobalt mine. Really makes you appreciate the electronics that came from here. Ooh. I can see some of these concept cars come to market. But this concept car sees me! And I see a lot of questionable design choices. What's in this taped off car? Finally! I can practice my distracted driving! But out of all the chick magnets here, I think I found my new whip! Keep an eye on your girl, fellas! And now parents don't have to keep an eye on their kids! Because I experienced what it's like in their shoes, and I've now seen the error of my ways. Psych! While we're focused on crime, let's take a look at this car's anti-theft demo. Okay, it first takes my picture, then it snitches to the owner. Wait, why is it getting hot in here? Not a demo! Not a demo! The anti-theft mode was actually less restrictive than the teen driver mode. Can't really blame it. <gasps> Disgusting! I don't know what this car is, but... Ooh, shiny! I really gotta control my impulses. <laughs> if you thought that was uncomfortable, here's what someone thought would bring people to their booth. Mmm. But my most uncomfortable experience goes to... <laughs> Not just because of that! I was actually very comfortable inside of this car. Until I had the audacity to be hands-on with the tech! The UI is still not finalized, mm. so this is still a very early, it's not an early version, but still, it's not a finalized version. Mm. Um, mm. So basically, uh, we don't want to showcase this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, the, the things are just the doors, lights, these, these, these parts are okay, but uh, please don't play around with it. Uh, we don't want to disclose too much about mm. the, the, unfa uh, the unfinalized version. Mm. Okay. Let's see if other cars can handle the advanced task of pinching and zooming. This one just froze completely. Maybe it's harder than I thought. And the experience in general was much worse here. We have some time. We have another customer here. Okay, sounds good, yeah. Yeah. We're about to close. Okay, yeah. Let's try Mid-Sadies. Wow! I'm impressed! And they're not pretending to care about the environment! I take back my mid wordplay! Maybe I'll invest in one too! Nah. Something there reminded me to be happy with the things you already have. But one last stop. We're at the BMW booth to test drive one of their co- Oh. They closed for the day? Banana! Let's come back tomorrow. Good night! Good night! Good night! Good night. Love, you guys. Love, you. Love you! Love you too! In the parking lot, for some reason, multiple car alarms kept on going off. Maybe they were using it to help find their cars or something? Amateurs. I say that cause some of them took a while to figure out how to turn it off. Advanced! It's tomorrow, and turns out you have to be 25 to test drive. But I'll figure out another way to have fun in a BMW without driving. <laughs> the person next to me was not amused. Ah, now this is more like it.
Ooh, I see they took some safety tips from Family Guy. Smart! Now we can safely watch YouTube! Good YouTube channel. The person next to me was not amused. This might be my most comfortable car experience! And there's no one telling me not to zoom in and out on their dysfunctional map! But wait, I have to check one more thing... It works! Once again, the people around me were not amused. Maybe I'll invest- never mind. The investor next to me felt the same way. Now let's take a look at the car BMW wants you to f <laughs> There she is! Wow, I have strange feelings already. But her sister is a lot hotter! The people next to me were actually amused. What else is in this plaza? A lot of giant buildings, but most of them were... This is by appointment only. Oh. The ones that didn't discriminate weren't any better. There's a Google coping and seething booth. Looks like a lot of people want to experience desperation, and I do too. Is there a media line? No. Uh, okay. But not that much. I'd never thought I'd say this, but Google, take some cues from Samsung. Or else he'll crash. What's in here? Must be an exciting ride! Warning! This show may potentially trigger seizures. This is gonna be great! That was not worth the epilepsy episode. Let's check out this lesser known car company. At first I thought they just did car registrations or something like that. Just gotta clear all these errors first. Then it's smooth sailing from here! Somewhat? Ah, oh, I see some fun games too. I'm not sure if the game are. Oh, okay, that's cool, yeah. Maybe a test drive will impress me! Actually, it's a ride-along. Cause guess who still isn't 25 yet? It wasn't too exciting, but it was entertaining! Especially Vinfast. Hey Vinfast, open the sunroof. Open the sunroof. Hey, Vinfast. <laughs> I just had the guy that designs this in the car right before you. If Vinfast can't do it, they hire the best to make it happen. Mm -hmm. It's very impressive. A show and dinner! That was the nicest exploitation I've ever experienced! Will this flying car demo also impress? <sighs> Or losing GPS, uh, signal When it didn't lose GPS, it was slightly more impressive. Slightly. For tech this futuristic, you would think their budget would reflect it. What's going on here? <coughs> no! That's my job! And it's only half done! If you can't tell, they're showing off that their automatic braking system supposedly works better than Tesla's. I was kinda sussed out by them, so why not do another ride-along with them? I don't know what I'm signing, I just hope I won't get sued. So what we have here is one of the hardest scenarios, which is a tire in the middle of the road, a black tire, mm. which is very hard to see, right? First red flag is replacing the kids with tires. You'll see why soon. Oh yeah, last night I was like watching like, yeah, oh, the, did you kids, the kids, yeah. Yeah, yeah, So we're trying to do the kids, but like the, the, the there's, there's been some issues with the, with the, with the actual machine that moves the... Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. At its, at its wit's end at this mm -hmm. point. Tesla's up first. So for this test, we're planning to just drive towards it and see if the emergency braking kicks in. Okay. I'll reach up to speed, take my foot away from the pedals and see what the car does. To their credit, they let me check if the emergency braking was engaged, and it was. In the first test without any auto driving, the Tesla runs over the tire, and their braking system stops before hitting it. <laughs> but in my opinion, the damage would probably be less severe if you just ran over the tire instead of just coming to a complete stop if there's another car behind you. We can also try it in full self-driving. We've also noticed similar behavior. Sure. So you're not able to like use the human mannequins at all if they can't like walk or anything? Right. Yeah, I've just been told that they're, they're not working at the moment. Okay, sounds good. I think we've damaged them far too much. Uh -huh. Second test, we accelerate towards the tire with Tesla's full self-driving activated. Uh, 
Oh, nice. Mm, so full self-driving went around it. Mm -hmm. mm. But also on this track, it's just when unable to get it fast enough to have a valuable comparison test. Oh yeah. I don't know how full self-driving would react at higher speeds, but I would say this is how you should react to a tire in the road if it's safe to do so. Some nightmare scenario for all human drivers. We will pull out a dummy behind this white car. So the dummy is hiding behind and it will be pulled out in front of us. Third test. With their braking system, we will see a stop for a kid coming out from behind a car. <laughs> Wait, didn't they say the mechanism that moves the dummies was broken? And yeah, one more question I have is that we were able to do the child test with that car, but can, can we do it again with that car again? With the child test coming out from the car? At high speeds? Uh, sure. After some questioning, we were able to do the child test in the Tesla. Emergency braking was engaged, and the Tesla did sound an alert, and slightly braked. But it still committed child bloodshed. And here's where I'm super sussed out. Why was the Tesla child stationary when the mechanism that moves the child clearly works despite them saying otherwise? Could it be because it would be easier for them to time a slight override of the automatic emergency braking if the child was still? I would look at the part of the Tesla screen where it shows if you're braking or accelerating, but I don't know exactly how it should look when it's emergency braking and it gets cut off as I lurch forward, so inconclusive. And moments after I left, they went back to doing tests with their totally broken child walker, but only for their braking system once again, and the competition only gets to hit a stationary child. Once again? Again, this is all alleged, I am not looking to be sued. Their tech seems impressive, but their comparisons are a bit sussy. For those of you who don't care about any of this, you'll be happy to know we're finally moving on! After a bus ride to a hotel, we are now at the smallest and least impressive part of CES. Fun fact! Last year there was an FTX booth here! Obviously they're not back again, but I don't trust anything here now. <gasps> let me in, let me in! Of course the scripted fighting is here too! Looks like Walmart is sponsoring the area. I would make fun of that, but they know how to win me over. Why is this sign up? I think you should be able to record the most influential people in tech. What's in the direction of the blood curdling screams? It's because they won a big prize here. Because these people are the ones that need the most handouts. I was only able to capture people winning mid prizes and looking dead inside. I got a little something too. Time for lunch. I noticed a restaurant in the hotel had a hundred dollar burger, so I had to see what it's all about. Lunch on a budget! And a big tax write off. It tasted like a burger, but it was way messier and the box wouldn't stop cheering. Another theme of CES! More e-waste for the environment! Another bus ride and we are at another hotel. Let's check out the second floor first, where I'm first greeted with PTSD and more PTSD! Why three booths? Who's funding this defunct company? I don't know, but I might get a hit put on me. I'll invest in that, but not these electric shock hazards. You don't need these, just drink the free samples here. What's this? I would never let an Amazon product roam my house and spy on me! Speaking of spying, you know the drill. A lot of this floor was filled with cheap looking electronics booths, indistinguishable from each other. This is boring! I need some truly unhinged products. So let's check out the first floor where the startups are. And if you thought I was too hard on certain booths, CES allowed a booth to make it more stressful for the startups, as it's one of the first booths you see when you walk in. But if you buy their service, you might succeed. Will this end up on the wall? Hmm. I support that small startup. No. How did they know? So far, not too bad. Wait. Never mind. I want to put in more effort to watch ads. Ooh, Ukraine tech. But where's the Russian tech? Here's the African tech.
A lot of countries have their own section, so where is the USA tech? There it is! Yeah, it was mostly comprised of that, and... Ah, the final boss! I need to remember how to breathe air! You know what? I'm sick of hiding! I'm gonna show off my new idea for everyone here! The second hit has been put on my head. I can't wait to start pirating instruments! Yes! No more language barrier! Uh... Wow! Look at all this non-invasive tech! But what if I want to let him in? <laughs> you can clearly see the understandable disgust at the sight of a YouTuber! 1984 for dirt. Hmm... What did I forget in the car? My offspring! At the University Innovations, there's not just one, but three empty college booths. Your tuition was well spent! Wow! Look at all the jobs you'll get before and after graduating! Study here instead! Specific? Very specific! Let's see if doing this saves me when they take over! This is what someone passionate and believes in their product looks like! Willing to come on camera to talk about his pen that can automatically digitize notes! This is what a sketchy product looks like! So what makes this environmentally friendly? Sorry? Are you recording? Hi. Just to be with that just record it after, you know me. Okay. I do want my food. Okay, yeah. So you go to CES for exposure, but when you get exposure, you reject it. I'm only censoring them because I don't want a third hit on me. Of course the one booth I need is empty! It's close to closing, and a lot of them packed up early. No investment from me! No! Stay away from me! Definitely not the first. How. Do. I. Invest. One last AI send-off. And finally, we have a returning character. I can finally try out the electric roller skates with a battery this time. Reminds me of the first day with my boosted board. Slightly dangerous, yet fun. The founder said he wants to be just like boosted, except for the last part, and I wish him the best of luck. Everyone is packing up and leaving now, so that must only mean CES 2023 is finally over. What a wild ride. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Check out these other years of CES! Right now, there's only two, including this one, so hopefully I won't get banned from any future ones. We'll see.